So I've, of course, had some time to now sleep on the Frostmage tree and come back and reflect on it a bit. And I wanted to do a more positive outlook on the, the feedback of how it can improve. And I have five, probably more than five points that I wanted to touch on today, but I'm going to, you know, structure it, so to speak, around five. This, for instance, is the spec and general tree that I think makes the most sense for Frost single target. There's not really many other options for what you can do, especially because Icy Propulsion is limited to single target spells, so Comet Storm's just dead in the water. And because of that, and especially because of Icy Propulsion, the first thing I wanted to touch on was Glacial Spike. I think this is something that a lot of people were hoping could be brought into an alternative playstyle for Frost and Dragonflight. And with the way the talents are set up, it's going to be dead in the water already. Uh, and the reason for that is, you know, all these supporting ice school talents, they just buff icy propulsion. Because especially this one, ice schools actually do generate, uh, or they do contribute to icy propulsion. So the more ice schools you generate, the more cooldown reduction you get on icy veins. Um, and aside from the fact that, you know, ice schools do help ice propulsion, the main thing that's really killing Glacial Spike is it doesn't have a good capstone to go along with it, right? It, you take Glacial Spike and then you would go down through Icy Propulsion and take Thermal Void, um, you know, to have a, a slightly stronger cooldown every three minutes, but it's going to be very weak compared to the Thermal Void uh, Icy Propulsion, like Slick Ice build, because you're, getting ice, you're forced to take Icy Propulsion as Glacial Spike because you have to get there to get Thermal Void, and then you just waste all the cooldown reduction because you barely get any cooldown reduction glacial spike so it needs another capstone which is my second point on that's what the capstone could be um, this node and these two points here are quite bad they're not worth taking if you could not take this you wouldn't take it but this is a larger part of a this is a part of a bigger problem which i think is the icy veins is not good at all and it's base form you can't go down to cold front without having thermal void and you know playing fractured frost without slick ice also it's just you know what are you doing so the thing that i would like them to do uh and bear with me for like three seconds but i want them to this can be removed i want them to roll improved icy veins into icy veins and then also put thermal void into icy veins and that should be one node uh and then the new capstones down here would be Ice Propulsion, not one that you're forced to take. It would be a, you know an option capstone down here. And then also you could take a cooldown that has the, sorry, just a passive that would have the cooldown, haste, and duration of Icy Veins, cause it to not be affected by Icy Propulsion, and also cause either your Frost Bolts to generate extra Icicles, or it would just generate you know a set amount of Icicles every second. And what this would do is basically give Glacial Spike an alternative, uh, not even really an alternative, just a viable secondary capstone that can go that isn't gimped by the Icy Propulsion playstyle that you could realistically get off a large amount of Glacial Spikes in a short period of time as well. So that's something I'd like to see because I don't think shoehorning everyone into playing Icy Propulsion for another expansion is really what a lot of people want and this doesn't feel like there's options as opposed to other specs and classes so which have potentially multiple single target options or just multiple aoe options the third thing that i want to talk about is there's too many passive talents for our main spells to give you some perspective on that um in total from all the passive talents here ice lance's damage is increased by 105 percent and Glacial Spike's damage is increased by 5%. You know, not including, I guess, the Ice School damage, which would probably... I don't, I don't know how Ice School calculation goes into it. Whatever. Um, but, I mean, that's ridiculous that it's increasing Ice Lance's damage by 105%. It's too much. Chain Reaction's fine. Uh, Arctic Piercing has to go, because this also conflicts with Glacial Spike, by the way. It's a 6-second maintenance buff, so you have to always be casting Frostbolt, essentially, to keep this up. But it's since the duration is so low, spending half the duration casting Glacial Spike, I mean, you'll have to be pretty damn lucky to keep this buff up 
if you're casting glacial spike every you know five globals or whatnot six globals so either in if they want to keep this which i i prefer they did not um it's just an annoying thing that will lead to a lot of variance in your dps it's on the path to glacial spike which makes no sense so i'd remove that uh i also think that just having this is a large problem when you are making talents that only increase you know frostbolt Mirrors of frost uh or flurry you're just hurting the alternative like additional things that you could run like ray of frost or ebon bolt or comet storm you know these become a lot less viable when all your damage is just suddenly being massively buffed uh on these two or three spells so and my suggestions for replacing those are going to be the next two points and then also they there should probably be some additional AOE options because uh, this is really the only one unless you count well freezing rain of course and then you know comet storm and potentially fractured frost and cold front but i mean the build where you would run this is uh is not looking great at the moment so anyway for my fourth point i wanted to address ray of frost I'd prefer if Ray of Frost was swapped with Splay Nice and then farther expanded upon. Uh, Ray of Frost should be included in Splay Nice for, you know, at, le at least one point. Uh, it should for sure be included there. And then I would like to see an additional node past it improving it, whether that's something like if it's used into a target with Winter's Chill, it like radiates the Winter's Chill to nearby targets. So essentially you're shattering all your AOE spells while you're channeling it. That would be pretty cool. Nice AOE buff. Um, you know, something that if you're going down the right side of the tree, you can get with Glacial Spike that's not really going to synergize with it, but it will give you a lot more passive damage. The Glacial Spike will struggle with at higher target counts. You know, thinking about that. Um, or something that generates icicles while it's while it's casting. And the fifth thing I have is just deep freeze. You know, you can throw it anywhere once you're removing some th of these three point talents that don't need to be here. The large amounts of of passive damage increases. So, uh, and I'm gonna make a six point, which maybe I should have made earlier in the video because this is one that I feel strongly about. It's about icy repulsion. I think that it should be all spells again. But what they should do, because obviously the reason that this is only single target spells is they don't want you to be spamming icy veins and high AOE target counts and getting like a, a 60 to 90% uptime on your rune of power. Um, just give rune of power an ICD when used with your major cooldown. It's only going to affect frost, but if you give it like a 30 second ICD, so icy veins can only give it to you once every 30 seconds, then look at that. You know, you've solve that problem and we can keep icy veins up permanently in aoe which in my opinion is something that is more challenging to do than keeping up in single target because it's also not as rng because you actually have to shatter spells at the right times to ensure you're going to have it from pack to pack so the much easier option instead of them adding an icd to just icy veins is for them to change rune of power back to two charges and just make your main cooldown drop a charge so that is a, a direct nerf to frost rune of power it doesn't affect the other two spell specs at all because you're always going to use rune of power with your major cd and then it'll you know you'll always have another one up by the time you reach your next major cd but what it would do is you know hard cap the amount of rune powers that icy propulsion gets you in aoe as frost which I'd be totally fine with. So hopefully some of these suggestions made sense or you like them. You know, you can let me know in the comments down below. Um, I'm probably going to do this for the general tree and the fire tree and the arcane tree. I'm not sure yet, but this is something I'd like to see iterate on. I am quite sad that I don't have alpha because I can't really test these things in game. Um, and arcane in particular looks like it has some, some interesting playstyle changes for sure. So anyway. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.